Any questions you guys have for him? Ian, can you hear us on your end? Yep, can you hear me? Yep, we got you. Perfect. All right, guys, just a reminder, please use the raise hand button if you have questions for Ian. Um, if someone wants to open up with the first one, the floor is open. Hey, Ian, how you doing? It's Joe Person. Good, how you doing? I'm doing well, man. Thank you. Um, just talking with, with Matt and Andy Reid today, they were talking about, both of them, some similarities in the Chiefs offense and what you guys are trying to do. I wondered uh, kind of if you see that as well, and if so, where? Yeah, I mean, we basically have the same speed they have. I mean, it's the NFL. Teams are good. Um, I personally think we're a good team, so uh, we're going to do our best to go out there and take the W. Hey, Ian, um, it's Josh from the Riot Report. Um, is there anything to be said for, you said in the NFL teams are good. Is there anything behind the idea that like the, these are the Super Bowl champs, you're going to Arrowhead? Um, I, obviously, intimidation is not the right word for it, but just kind of that thought of looking at like, here are the Chiefs. No, not really. I mean, we grow men. We we put our socks on just like they put our socks on. I mean, that's the old saying, but it's true. I mean, uh, we're going to go out there, be physical, be the team that we are. Let's go to Miles Simmons and then Elena Getzenberg. Hey, Ian. Uh, so tight ends this year in this offense, I mean, for whatever reason, you guys haven't had that many targets and that many catches. Is there something you can put your finger on for that? And obviously, you, you know, you had three, I think, against uh, three catches against Atlanta. Do you feel like you guys are starting to get more into it at this point? I mean, I think we're getting open more. Um, people are, I guess, taking an eye off us and covering more speed on the field. So, I mean, that could potentially be it. Hey, Ian, kind of following up on Miles' question, I was just curious, for you, how do you feel like this season has gone so far? I know, like, we pay a lot of attention to how many receptions you have, but, like, in terms of blocking and all around, how do you feel like your season has gone? Um, I think my season has been going pretty well, um, right? I haven't had as many catches as I want to have, but um, the blocking aspect has been pretty good, I think. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the tight ends are doing well overall, and, uh, I mean, that's what we like to have, so... Let's go to Josh Klein and then Sharon Thorsland. Ian, um, just on that, on being, improving blocking as a tight end, how is that something that you were, a, are, were you able to work on that during the off season? And then how much of a difference does it make, obviously being in practice and kind of having these first eight weeks to go through that? I mean, in the off season, you're not really blocking anyone like competitively, but like a bag, you know, and then, uh, once camp came and then the games came, you had to kind of get used to it real quick. So, I mean, a lot of practice reps and a lot of game reps is what really help you uh, become a better blocker, become a better player overall. Hey, Ian, when you look at the Chiefs, what are your first impressions of their defense? What kind of a defense do they have? How would you describe them? I'm sorry, repeat that. When you look at the Chiefs and their defense, how would you describe them? What are your initial impressions of their defense? Um, Aggressive, physical, um, I mean, they're a good defense, you know, uh, like you said before, the Super Bowl chance from last year and uh, you hear that a lot, but um, I mean, we have a we have a great offense and I'm, I'm pretty confident in our offense. Let's go to Joe Person. Hey Ian, you were kind of in this situation uh, the last couple of years with Greg, where he would be down and you would play and get your, your opportunity and then he comes back. Uh, so what, what would you say to Mike Davis uh, with Christian coming back, uh, you know, if the two of you were to talk about, you know, what you went through and how, you know, what you might offer to him advice was? I mean, Mike is a, a um, NFL vet and I'm pretty sure he knows when his time comes, he have to perform. And uh, I mean, like everyone knows or may experience once in their career, like, you may be sitting for a while and have to jump in there and play. And I'm pretty sure Mike knows his role and knows what he has to do when he get on the field. So um, like before when he jumped in and then now uh, Mike blew up. And I mean, that's what he's supposed to do as a player once his, his, once his name is called. So, I mean, I wouldn't really have anything to say because I feel like he's already been through that. He already knows what to do. Did, did his success the last six, seven weeks or so, you know, does that – 
kind of make you guys a more dangerous team to prepare for now with the idea that maybe both those guys are in at the same time potentially? For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to um, prepare to defend two different backs, I think. And, uh, and I mean, it's pretty hard to defend both of them. So, um, it's, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be fun to see how it plays out. Let's go to Elena Getzenberg and then Josh Klein. Hey, and I was curious, you know, for you, when you walk away from a game with like one catch or two catches and you think about all the offensive weapons that you guys have, how do you kind of balance that between, you know, you'd like you said, you'd like to have more catches up to this point, but also, you know, with DJ and Robbie and everyone wanting the ball, how do you kind of deal with that personally? I mean, it's a team game. Uh, we pros and uh, just got to wait till my time coming when it comes and got to perform. So, I mean, there's nothing really sad I can be about really because it's just the name of the game. And when you say like, you know, you wish you'd be love to have more catches, is that something that you feel like you can be doing better or just the offense, how the offense is going or Teddy or how, why do you think that is? I mean, it's nothing about our offense. It's just, I guess, the the way teams defend us, you know what I mean? And um, I mean, of course, I can improve anything as a player myself. So, um, yeah, it's just getting more reps, I guess, and then uh, once and see how teams play us and then go from there. Hey, uh, Ian, obviously you don't watch um, Chiefs offensive tape, but you are probably familiar with Travis Kelsey. What is it that makes him such a good tight end, and do you try to emulate that uh, in any year of play? Um, I think his, his ability to get open. And, uh, I mean, it's kind of – is I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to – mock it because coaches want different things from different players and different offenses. So, um, I mean, there's little things you can take away from everyone's game, but um, the overall offense is kind of, you know what I mean? It's kind of hard to mock someone else's game in a different system. All right, guys, we have time for one more. So let's go to Jonathan Alexander before we wrap it up. Hey, Ian, hope you're doing well, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sorry if, I, if, if you've been asked because I, I missed this. Um, but have you noticed at all any, you know, level of excitement or extra confidence boost since Christian has come back, particularly the fact that he just participated in his first padded practice? Yeah, everyone's excited for him to be back. I mean, anyone would be sorry for anybody to come back from injury and then play again, especially Christian. But, I mean, uh, football, people get hurt and just got to move on. And then, well, when he come back, we definitely – excited about him being at practice and hopefully he plays this weekend. So, yeah. All right. And appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, thank you.